Welcome to the official Munzee podcast. I'm Rob, also known as Coach V, your host and the president of Munzee. And I'm Craig, also known as Seamus Shell. I'm an avid Munzee player. I'm here to explore the game further. Each week, we'll delve into Munzee's mysteries, divulge some secrets, and inform players from around the world just what is coming your way. So sit back and relax as today's episode is another big one. We talk about the week that was, new scatter events, dragon mobs, secret zeops, and, and, and the launch of the man himself, Cappy. Cappy. Is he male? Cappy. I didn't even ask Rob. Is he male? <laughs> you know, uh, I think I, I, I through, don't know. through the storytelling elements, I think that we lean that direction. However, okay. he maybe can be we'll vote later. They can be whoever they want them to be. That's right. Exactly. He's yours, so. he's yours to play with as you feel, as you wish. I agree. <laughs> How have you I mean, been, so- mate? You're back, in, you're back hey. in England now. I am. I've been great. Um, things are good. Uh, the The sun is shining today, sort of. So mm. that's nice. But yeah, back in England. Um, and uh, you know what? I've figured out this isn't um, nearly as much of a fun place to test the daily stroll that we are uh, <laughs> that we're talking about this week because yeah. we've actually launched it. Yes. Yes. Uh, yeah. So. Um, a little less enjoyable mm-hmm. than um, Houston. The temperatures in Texas right about oh, nice. Of course, um, a little bit cooler here, so it just depends. Do you like cooler? Do you like warmer? Anyway, I'm getting yep. out there. That's what I've been up to, mm-hmm. and uh, I'm most excited about um, about that uh, daily yeah. stroll. Those wishing wells, Cappy, yes. all that stuff. All yeah. that stuff, exactly. And we're going to get into that throughout the show itself. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Meanwhile, Rob, as you can probably hear, I'm not sure if you can or can't, but I'm back in my my car again. Yes, I'm road tripping again. What? Currently in Virginia. Apparently, it's the the land of lovers. Believe it or not. So there you go. Wow. It's, it's official. Did you know that, Rob? Did you know Virginia? Yeah. Is no, the go. license plate. Virginia is for lovers. Is for T-shirts. lovers. That's right. That's yeah. right. Do you yeah. know why, Rob? Do you know why? I don't. Okay. Never. The reason is the good old Woodstock. Back in the day, mm-hmm. the first Woodstock itself, it was in Virginia, and that's where all the the, the so called hippies were. Like the event last weekend <laughs> with Eagle yeah. Dad and and everyone dressed up as uh, the Flower Power hippies. Yeah, so the Flower Power <laughs> hippies were in Virginia, and uh, yeah, it was the the land of lovers. So there you go. That's where it came the from. Make make love, not war. Yes. All those campaigns and everything. Exactly yeah. right, mate. Exactly yeah. right. Peace, love, yeah. happiness. See, you learn more stuff about more stuff in this episode than just Munzee just saying. <laughs> wow. And All yet right. there's so much Munzee stuff, we should move on. I was going to say, we're going to get straight into it now. The week that was, we had events in Minnesota Times 2. And oh, by the way, before I go on, yeah. Yeah, and again, another great video by uh, by Whelan, W. Helen himself. Yeah. Um, Munzee Events is the YouTube channel. Links in the show notes, of course, as well. And you will see the man, the myth, the legend, Eagle Dad, all dressed up in his hippie best and including his long wig. Oh, I think it was a wig. Was it a wig? Uh, I don't know. I've met him uh, and he, his hair looked like mine. Um, transparent. <laughs> yes, missing. exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Make sure you watch the video for that one as well. So anyway, two Minnesota events, uh, one in Missouri and two in California and around the world. Rob? In British Columbia, Canada, we had two events. There was one in the UK, Finland, Switzerland, and a mega event in Netherlands. Oh, yeah, they made wow. it. Oh, that's cool. Uh-huh. Then we have Denmark, Hungary, Victoria, Australia, and ACT Australia. So we had more events around the world last weekend than what we did have here in the US. I'm impressed. Wow. Impressed. I'm, 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 yeah, quietly impressed. And almost the same amount of events in Australia that we had in the US. Well done, Australia. Go on. Making me proud, guys. Yeah. <laughs> The leaderboards over the weekend, and they reflected, I dare say, the events themselves. On Friday, we had a Minnesota boy. There you go, <laughs> mate. I'll give him a nice big shout out. Yeah. 735,000. Next was Herbie with 482,000. And Munzee Pa or Munzee PA, which one do you think would be, Rob? Hmm, good question. Not sure. Oh, anyway, either Munzee PA or Munzee Pa has 361,000. On Saturday, Rob? Coal Cracker 7 with 1.7 million, uh, Eagle Dad Nixenia with 1.2 million, and W. Helen 1.1 million. And uh, congrats to the other two millionaires, Marley Fan CT, which is actually Nixenia um, of Eagle Dad Nixenia. Yeah, <laughs> that's her account. And RBM. 
There you go. I didn't know that. Thank yeah. you very much. And well done to then to Eagle Dad and Exenia and Exenia by herself. Um, and Sunday we had at, oh Rob, I always get this one mixed up. Aaron Sug, I think so. Aaron yeah. Sug, Aaron Sug with nine hundred and ninety-two thousand. Why not eight k more, mate? You could have done it, surely. Mm. Regal with nine hundred and thirty-seven thousand, and KWD with nine hundred and twenty-five thousand points. Very, very cool. Nice. And a current events coming up this weekend, Rob. In the USA, we've got Florida. Um, that's Eagle Dad and other hosts going on there, mm-hmm. and then we also have one in Texas. And around the world, we have two in Germany, Lithuania, Denmark, Victoria, Australia, and South Australia in Australia on the Tuesday. South Australia, Rob. See, I told you. You know what that's from? No, you know what that's from? No. It's from the, the mega event they had in, in, in the ACT. Uh, they, they came from all over Australia, you see. Wow. And so those players now are heading back to their own states, still playing, and now creating events in their own states. So you see how this works, guys. Make sure at your, you're at other big events. And talk to other people. Show them what this game is about now, how much fun this is compared to what – I'll be honest, Rob – I'm a player compared to what it used to be like, you know, yeah. five, six, seven, ten years ago. You know what I mean? Yep. It is so much fun now. Make sure you share that love and look what happens. Exactly this. So that's pretty cool. Large events coming up over the next few months. Rob, I had to put this one in. This is a new one. We've got because we've got five. They're not really large per se, but it's large is in terms of how many events. Mm-hmm. So there's five events in Greenville, South Carolina, and that's for Pike Spice's birthday. Yeah. So, yeah, it's his birthday. So May 2nd to May 4th, five events. You know how much cake you can have with five events over those, like, four, two days? You can get overstuffed, <laughs> yes. <laughs> exactly, yeah. exactly. And what else have we got, Rob? Well, we've also added another, which is on Star Wars mm-hmm. Day, May the 4th. Be with you. In England, uh, so the question is, is that one going to go mega as well? It's in the Midlands. Oh, because apparently they had – megas in the midlands the last two months mm-hmm. so this may be the third month in the row that that may go mega that would be really cool may the 4th in england if you're over there make sure you get to it uh and then we have of course rob minneapolis may 10th to 12th again there's 40 so far on this but we need some more logs rob you know what i did the, i'm not sure if you saw it throughout the week um i did a little short video oh yeah and i used i used sam i'm telling you what an asset to the company this this kid is he with Cup of Z, I found out how you can actually log your I'm goings from your phone with like I'm serious, Rob, like three or four clicks. Mm-hmm. That's it. That's all it is. Using Cup of Z, Sam. Man, what a Sam. Sam, he's the man. I'm telling you, he <laughs> is the man. He makes life easier for all the Munziers and for me. Thank you, Sam. Exactly. So May, Minneapolis, May 10th to 12th. Get there as as if you can. Uh, and then, Rob, we have? Then we're uh, headed to Flagstaff, Arizona. That's right. Route 66. There is uh, Geo Woodstock. I'm just going to say it now. Geocaching. Yeah, mega <laughs> event. It's going to be huge. You know what? The way that the Australians took advantage of a large mm-hmm. geocaching gathering why shouldn't we do the same? There are going exactly. to be some events hosted by Vado Tech. Thanks very much for that. May 24th to the 26th. There are 18 people so far. I have not put myself on there, but I am going to be there. We're making it happen. Oh, you are yeah. now. Yeah. You are. Uh, yes. I'm yes, making it yes. official today. So uh, let's let's do this thing. Like me and my green jacket wandering around some geocaching mm-hmm. events. It's usually pretty successful, but I need... I need coexisters to be there with me yeah. to help spread yeah. the word because sometimes me saying it isn't quite the same thing as players saying it. You know what I mean? Exactly. So, exactly. Yeah. And also not just that, but take advantage of the free, that's right, free referral cards yeah. uh, PDF that you can get in the redeem or not redeem store in the freeze tag store. Mm. And print them out, get them ready to go, have them in your little bag, your little muns pack, so to speak, mm-hmm. and hand them out as you see fit because then you get cap on points for life, Rob. So, for life. So important. Yes. Oh, I've, I've got to tell you this too. I forgot last week. So you know how last week I had that uh, big day, you know, two and a half million points yeah. for the day, et cetera, yeah. et cetera. Yeah. Guess who my referral person is, who actually tagged their referral code when I first started. Have a guess who that was. Mm. 
I feel like you might have mentioned it. Go on. Yeah. Josh, the geocaching vlogger. And so, Rob, I had a big day. Two and a half million points for me, for Craig, for See My Shell. Meanwhile... Joshua, the geocaching vlogger, was watching Ghostbusters the movie <laughs> and earned himself earned himself to over two hundred thousand points alone, thanks to me watching Ghostbusters the movie. So he, he came out of the movie. He's like, "What the? What, I haven't been doing anything." That's right. He interfered in no ghost, and I will say that you were also <laughs> earning points from your referral. Who was there? Capping alongside. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. So, it's this, this really nice cycle that happens. The points that you get from your <laughs> referral don't stack to mm-hmm. help Josh. However, you know, you, the, every your, exactly. your activities help Josh. So, that's good. Yeah. Exactly. I love exactly. the chain. Speaking of my referral, before we move on, I've got to say this. Uh, she was she was over. Where was she? She was actually in, in Phoenix, Arizona hmm. for work purposes. And she's she messaged me. And she's like, you know, Craig, look at all. I've got all these premium Skylands, premium tree houses everywhere. Someone lives here. Mm-hmm. And I had a look. Who was it? Of course, Vado Tech. Yep. And so he actually reached out to her and said, if you're in town, meet me for a coffee. And they did. They met up for a coffee. He taught her something, Rob, that I hadn't taught her oh yet. Who taught her about um, uh, what does he call them? Like elect, not electrical bombs or electrical captures? Or oh, the electric mystery or... that sends out the scatters. Yes, yes. But what he's saying to her about how we, you put the electric mystery and then surround it with virtual. So when you cap the mystery, uh, the electric mystery, then all they you can pick up the scatters that come directly around it. And I, she said, did you know about that? I go, have a look at our house and you'll see there's one, mm-hmm. <laughs> there's two there. I've done two of those since there. So there you go. Yep. So he reached out to her. They met for coffee. Uh, it's, again, it's a very social game, Rob. Very cool. Yep. All right, I'm digressing. Moving on. Hampshire, UK in June 14th to 16th. 31 people there so far. We know that one's going to get bigger because it always does in the UK. And don't forget, if you're hosting or of a growing event and we haven't noticed yet, please reach out to me and uh, and we'll go from there. So, Rob, I know we've got a, a Munzee uh, question of the week at the end of the show, but this one came in whilst the uh, Minnesota event was happening. And it came in not from one direct person, but actually a, a clan, believe it or not. So it's a clan. And in that clan was Minnesota Boy, Geocaching Vlogger, and a few others as well. And they reached out to me and they said, can you ask Rob this? Can we get – ready for this, Rob? Yeah. Can we get a Munzee filter that is proximity range like that – you know, 300 feet or 500 feet. So in other words, what he wants from that is, you know, when you're at an event and you get those those night vision goggles, Rob, and then they scatter everywhere, those little things. But because they're so, they're so short in terms of their range, what they're asking for is, can you make it so you can only cap in list view? It's, it's very confusing. When you cap in list view, that only the ones that are available to cap are shown. Mm. <laughs> Does that make sense? That sounds helpful, <laughs> yes. Um, yeah. The, the good news about those night vision goggles is that they only drive you crazy, as in they are only <laughs> visible to you personally. So can you imagine the overwhelming amount if um, if it showed active oh, everyone's? Wow. Oh, wow. wow. Crazy. Um, yeah. Yep. It's an interesting idea. You can only cap those up to 100 feet. However, if you turn on the um, capture radius booster, um, you know, things change there. Uh, If you use rover treats, you can capture anything uh, up to a minimum of 500 feet. So the 100 Mm -hmm. turns into 500 feet with the rover treat. Uh, It's an interesting idea. I'd say they should send it through uh, a, a suggestions channel. So there you go. Suggestion channel for you. Or what they could do, Rob, as well, and that is make a separate filter for themselves to just filter out all night vision goggles and not cap night vision goggles. If, they, if that's what that makes them feel like that's, you know. I think that might get rid of the scatters from the, the – yeah. Uh, yeah. Don't know, though. Exactly. Good luck, so everyone. that's a possibility. Yeah. Any, anyway, we've got to move on, Rob. We're getting right into this right now. So let's say the developments from this week, I did see that you've got this bonus scatter event. So what happened on Monday with this bonus scatter event? Yeah, we decided to try something new. Uh, you know, we're, we're trying to do some special events every month that are just kind of like midweek type things. Uh, so it's not just double point weekends. Um, so yeah, this time we added a bonus scatter event. So it's just a plus one. Um, when you cap something that throws scatters out, if it's, let's say, yep. one to three, then it's instead going to be two to four. 
Um, so yeah, oh, just okay. just a plus one. So this is mm-hmm. helpful for clan requirements, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Um, those people who you know have put out like Celtic zodiacs and things where it deploys mm-hmm. on your account that passive deploy. Oh yeah. Then you personally have two to four going out. So um, w- right. one of those kind of things. Just it was it was an attempt. Yeah. It was just something new and different. We literally are yeah. um, just coming up with conversational things in our meetings mm-hmm. and just like, what else can we try? Um, just to oh, see what, you know, what people think and what's interesting. So, yeah, mm-hmm. the, I did I see know, one I, thing about it and people are like, why are they doing these things so much later in the month? I want all my clan points in the first seven days. <laughs> mm. uh, what? That's so shocking. Why would I hold these things until later in the month? How me of me. Isn't that weird? Yeah, it, 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 it really is. Uh, mind you, Rob, I didn't actually think about the uh, the cap on points for this. Yeah. I did all the, when I did read it through. I saw that you know, oh, bonus scatter. So all I'm thinking about is when I cap and then I get a bonus scatter. I didn't even think that all mine out there are getting an extra scatter point as well. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Thank you for that. Yeah. Double point weekend this weekend on cards, temp virtuals, flats, greenies, and scattered types. But scattered types. That's only going to cross over with this plus scattered on the Friday only. So, because that, that the, the this bonus scatter finishes Friday night tonight, actually, if you listen to this as it comes out. Yeah. So, there you go. Uh, Rob, we had we've got now these dragon mobs have been bouncing around. I have not seen an actual dragon per se, I've seen lots or not lots, but quite a few uh, eggs. Yeah. And because I use I use some magnets right, oh, okay. obviously in my travels, and so if I'm at a rest stop or whatever, I'll use some magnets, and I'll get some eggs from magnets. But Rob, I'm still getting brand new eggs. Yeah. like are they just rolling out slowly. What's going on? Well, um, I was testing a theory because it was taking us a bit of time to get through the dragon eggs to get to the tenth cap. So, and there were also people saying, "No, oh, I'm not seeing them. They're not close. I don't want to use magnets. You know, all those kinds of things where we only yeah. had 250 of each type of egg on the map. Mm-hmm. So I took it upon myself, which is always a fun <laughs> thing to do, um, to add some more, add more eggs. Well, oh. obviously if you add more eggs in, then that does make it where there's a possibility of them spreading out, bouncing to more people, you know, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But it also um, dilutes the pool, I suppose, a touch Mm -hmm. so that you are seeing new eggs with no caps and, and all that. Yeah. Um, I I've agreed with the team that I shouldn't add any more eggs for now. Uh, because as of when we're <laughs> recording this on Wednesday, we still haven't seen any eggs um, turn into yeah. hatchlings or, or sorry, the, the baby. Yeah. Um, so, um, so yeah, we have some that are sitting at uh, six and seven as of yesterday. So hopefully mm-hmm. those are going to be hatching this week. Very, very soon. Yeah. Very cool. Rob, I did say as well on the on the water cooler, et cetera, and I did get a private message about it, and that is people are asking. They they read their blogs too sometimes, hey. sometimes these people. And the ones that do, that like they get the, the heads up. And one of the heads up, and I couldn't have this – I didn't have an answer for this question, Rob, and that is why is there a cap on points for the egg when the egg is actually owned by Munzee? It's not owned by us. Mm. Players. Deploy points and What's cap on points. Yeah, what's what's that about? Like, what's why, why is that happening? Hmm. And because people are asking, how can they purchase an egg if that's the case? Right. Well, you can't purchase an egg. Um, no. So that's interesting. I wonder, since this is like a longer term mob set, if uh, the way that it's starting out doesn't start to um, mutate over time. Oh, I don't know. We have we have written that there will be different types of dragons and different types of eggs oh. and that kind of stuff that come out as we move forward so slowly i say oh. hmm, i wonder why that's weird stay tuned <laughs> yeah. yes i finally got a rock i'm gonna call it a robism i finally got a robism i like it there i like go. it mate very cool there you go so those of you who did reach out to me or uh, mentioned it on the wine cooler thank you so much actually first of all for reading the full blog and bringing it to my personal attention uh rob because i said to them i said oh you know if you listen to the podcast rob explains it and then i listened over and i reread their question i'm like oh, hang on a second he didn't yeah he didn't explain it yeah 
And even in this podcast, you still didn't explain it, but that's okay. We'll leave it be like that. <laughs> yeah, that's how I rule sometimes. Oh. And subconsciously, you just called it the wine cooler. Mm-hmm. You moved very quickly through it. So I don't think you, you intentionally oh, called I did, it. Did I did, did I? Water cooler, water cooler. There we go. Uh, All right, moving on. And the new secret Zeops has started. And of course, of course, I've got to say this first of you. Well done to uh, Humber Seven. Humber Seven. Yeah. She she completed the whole thing, Rob, in like 40 minutes or something. Yeah. 40 minutes. And she's got the first, the very number one bouncer that comes out of the new Secret Zeops. If you don't know if about the Secret Zeops, go and have a look in your Secret Zeops. Where the daily Zeops is, click on that. And then onto the right-hand side, it says the Secret Zeops. Click over on that. And it's 1,500 Zs. Uh, for you to purchase this new Secret Zeops, and it's an Operation Space Case, it's called. So I really like it, Rob. I'm. Uh, we record this on the Wednesday, yeah. and I'm up to level four now. Oh wow! So I got up to level. I got up to level four yesterday. Wow. So yeah, but that's because you know it's when you put when you put uh, you know cap slash deploy yeah. as the as the task then I go straight away to the deploy because it's easier for me. Yeah. And so that's that's the reason Can why. you tell when Murray um, kind of takes uh, control of the uh, requirements and the missions versus whenever I do? I'm in charge of the clan stuff. There's a lot more cap-only type <laughs> things that happen in the clan <laughs> exactly. requirements. Murray um, is, uh, is, is really nice to everyone because she does put the cap mm-hmm. slash deploy. I'm not much of a slashy. Yeah. I'm more of a only. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're more of an only guy. Mm. You know, make it harder for everyone. Make it a challenge, a real challenge. Yeah, so <laughs> if everybody yeah. checks this one out, they'll notice that it is leaning toward um, what's coming up soon, which is May the 4th. Mm-hmm. So we've got uh, sort of a, um, a, you know, Star Wars <laughs> lean. This one gives you the, uh, the mech whenever you complete it, Java the Hub. I like it. I love I love the names. I love everything. But Rob, here's a question for you. And again, off script, you Uh-oh. know, off script. And I just thought about it. And you said before you we're leading now to May the 4th. Uh-huh. Is May the 4th mechs themselves, will they possibly give you something extra like, you know, the other holiday mechs do when during those holidays? What? That's an what? absolutely <laughs> ridiculous thing to start thinking this far in advance of May 4th. Do you know that I still have at least two weeks before I have to start thinking about what's happening for special credit events during the month of May? But it does sound like go. a reasonable thing. Yeah. Oh, see, I told you guys, listen to this podcast and you will get the inside tips weeks in advance, you know, so there you go. All right, Rob, we've got to move on because we're going to talk now a little bit more time about the daily stroll, the wishing wells, Cappy and what happens, you know, he's finally launched. Oh. You know, I, I'm really enjoying it. I would say this. I I really enjoy Cappy. So, yeah. yes, you, yes, you, yes, tell us a bit you've more. You've been testing it uh, or you've had the opportunity to test mm. it since uh, Munzee Madness. And any of the yeah. attendees there, whether they kept on doing it or not, had the opportunity to keep testing. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that's been about six weeks. And if we mm-hmm. rewind and played clips of the last six weeks of podcasts, You'll hear me saying, you know, like, oh, yeah, we're on pace for late March and early April. Well, guess what? Um, (laughs) April 17th, 18th. That's not early April. That is mid-April, some would say. (laughs) However, the good news is um, Mm -hmm. here's what we've decided. Right versus fast. That is not always Mm -hmm. my way. Right? Proper, complete, fully tested, tweaks made, polish applied. Things that make mm. it make sense and make it easiest for players upon arrival. And that's where we mm. are. So we are all very happy with Cappy. Welcome to the family. Um, we've got the camp hub, which you can see from the main screen. It's in the top left corner of the map. And yes, you can make that go away through the filters. PJ, mm. just in case you were interested and you don't <laughs> want him on your map. Now, he will not go away until you have. Um, taking Cappy for a daily stroll each day. So please mm-hmm. just do your job, everyone. Just take Cappy for yeah. a daily stroll. It's points. It's fun. It's 15 minutes. If you've got 15 minutes to play Munzee in the day, great. If you have five minutes, just start the daily stroll and cap three stars. Woo. Yeah. You're welcome yeah. for some extra points and a little bit of extra fun. Take those mm-hmm. stars, 
and go and make wishes once you've accumulated 10 you can make wishes at the wishing well now here's the thing mm -hmm. craig you don't know because we've been tweaking no. things behind the scenes and you haven't yeah. got the most recent version as we're recording this so there's actually a way if you don't have a wishing well near you in mm -hmm. the camp hub, you can click on the little picture of the wishing well. It's in there. Yeah. And if there's not one near you, once a week, currently, you mm -hmm. can request a wishing well near you. Oh. What? Oh. Right. That's very, very good, Rob. And it's going to come out very near you. Now, we're looking for streets mm -hmm. and, you know, places where it's yes. going to be accessible by all, that kind of thing. So, mm -hmm. um, yep. so be patient with it. Now, for people who travel a lot like you are currently... Um, mm. you're not going to be able to put a wishing well everywhere that no. you go. No. So keep that in mind and yeah, use your yep. one request a week currently. Yep. Use it wisely. Yep. So that, exactly. that was that was kind of a little two minute um here's mm -hmm. the highlights of what the mm -hmm. daily stroll in the wishing wells is all about. Yeah, exactly. And I will say this, Rob, and that is I spoke to you about this uh, uh, previously um, off off air, and that is with the wishing wells themselves, they need to be, guys, these need to be, uh, you know, they need, need to be available to everyone. You can't have a wishing well on top of your house, yeah. for instance, because there, there is a small range. It's 150 feet. So it's not the 300 foot. It's 150 foot. So, you know, I, I, I think I suggested to you, Rob, before, like, you know, shopping center, parking lots, mm -hmm. you know, or car parks in Australia. Yeah. Um you know, uh, other areas where you can actually literally you know, stop or park up or walk to and then cap it from there, not on top of people's houses because, you know, who wants to be at the front of someone's house and sort of walking towards their front door just to try and cap a, mm -hmm. <laughs> a wishing well? That's now, right. Now, what, so, what we've both figured out about the daily stroll is that it's important mm -hmm. where you start it. So you want to start it, yes. you know, in a location where you've got some room where you can go and chase the stars. Why not mm -hmm. request a wishing well at your like your local starting yes. spot? Oh my gosh, Perfect. this is amazing! Perfect. What? So look at you, Rob, coming out with all those tips. I mean, <laughs> it's, it's insane. Know, I walk five minutes away from the house. That's where I start mine every single time yep. because it keeps it yep. out of the river. I do not want to mm -hmm. cross the river because you can't <laughs> cross the river where I play. So. I will say this as well, Rob, if people want to visualize this better because they're a visual type person, that's fine. Munzee on the actual official Munzee YouTube channel, it's me, Rob. Yes, my ugly mug. And I show them, I do a full video of me walking around. It's like 15 minutes long, mm -hmm. obviously. And it's me walking around doing the 15 minute and, and I explain it as I go, what's happening, where it goes, you know, why is it doing the things that it's doing, etc. And so I'll do that on, on the official Munzee YouTube channel so make sure you make sure you subscribe to the Munzee YouTube channel as well because there's more and more videos popping out like all the time on that channel it's true so pretty cool. and it yep, is right. attached to the blog so for those who don't read the blog at least go to the blog and mm -hmm. click that video exactly uh, all right Rob we've got to move on because we've got a tip of the week coming up as well about the uh, about Cappy so but first of all Munzee question of the week and this question I got from the water cooler <laughs> <laughs> And I thought this is a very interesting question. And I wanted the Munzee HQ take on this because there's plenty of different uh, thought processes. And it was Anne on the water cooler. She did a great job in the question, by the way. She wasn't, it's a water cooler question. It's not a wine cooler question. No. Um, she was just asking, what is the etiquette on reporting or placing replacing missing Munzees when you're traveling? Because, so she's got a physical hotel, if you didn't see, she's got a physical hotel that's outside her home area. So obviously she was traveling. It was in a rest stop. She put a physical hotel there. Um, and now it's gone missing. Someone reported it as missing and she can't get back there. But she, all she asked, Rob, all she asked was if someone was in the area, this is the location, can they please replace it for me so it doesn't get archived because it is a high-end quality munzee. So mm -hmm. it's not a greenie. It's a high-end money munzee. So that sort of thing. So what, Rob, what is the take from you? Actually, you know what? From you, not from HQ, from you. Your, your <laughs> right. take on this. My personal opinion. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. It's a $4 value on a hotel. So I get what she's saying. Mm -hmm. Totally makes sense. Um, imagine it's a prize wheel, $5. Um, mm -hmm. we, we allow um, players to place anywhere around the world virtual especially, mm -hmm. but physical stickers, like you can put them wherever you want. There's another game where you have a home zone and you can't um, place things outside that area. 
So the mm-hmm. the difficulty in playing the game the way that we do is that you don't have the, personally the ability to maintain all of your stickers. So there's two things mm-hmm. that are important here. Number one, it's important that you place high quality stickers so that they don't disappear. And if you're not going to mm-hmm. do that, then don't change them from anything other than a greenie because you, mm-hmm. the greenie is free shouldn't matter if you're going to put something on it and make it valuable please be sure that it's a high quality sticker that's going to last our stickers from the store are lasting 10 plus years like i have mm-hmm. them out there i'm still seeing them i chased some down in my um hometown uh, a couple of weeks ago and <laughs> and it's like they're still there it's great some of my very yeah. first stickers that we created so that's mm-hmm. the first thing second thing is you should definitely do what ann did which is you should look for local players who can help you Mm. out. Because if you've got something valuable like she does, then you just put out a request. Well, she put it on the water cooler. Great. Other people might Mm. find local players or let's say the person who was first to cap. That might be someone who's local, Mm. someone who has deploys around that area. Contact them and see. Uh, One, are they crew or Z crew? Because you've got to be that Mm. in order to replace it. And number two, would they mind going to that area and helping you out? It is going to cost exactly. that other person something, right? That's the problem. Yeah. Is they can only right. use a generic sticker to do that or a generic code. Mm-hmm. So keep that in mind. Mm-hmm. As you go out asking other people to do something for you, keep in mind that you're asking them to do something that will cost them something. Um, it is yep. reasonable to request it. It is not reasonable to expect it. Players yep. will never be trained in the same way to do anything this is guaranteed that's from me so replace or mark unable to locate missing needs repair whatever that that's Mm -hmm. always going to be up to every single player's um choice individual choice so there you go very good answer rob actually you you surprised me to be honest with you mate i thought i thought you'd have a different response but no Hmm. that's very good i hope that helps and so and good luck with finding someone to replace that uh missing hotel for you rob i'm gonna put something else in here Uh. rob I'm going to put in the Munzee request of the week. Did you like this? Denied. What do you think about this? Denied. <laughs> <laughs> it's only going to be a quick one uh, just to get their names on the podcast. And we've got um, Cold Cracker 7. And this is seconded by Eagle Dad and, and Xenia as well. Mm. And it was on YouTube. And all they said was, can you please bring back the physical cap boosters earned from Primidus? <laughs> I didn't ask for a Munzee request of the Pimidus. week. Yeah, Pimidus, Pimidus, whatever. Pimidus, whatever. Uh, lots of ways to pronounce it. Um, I rotated prizes. Uh, honestly, mm-hmm. I haven't seen anyone other than these two say, oh, I want more physical capture boosters because, um, <laughs> as you can imagine, not everyone enjoys physical captures. So there's yeah. always going to be somebody, some direction. So <laughs> request denied. I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> things are always rotating. If everyone hasn't figured mm-hmm that out yet then um where have you been the last couple of years rob do you know what it is it's it's from us it's from me Mm. because of last last week my tip was to use physical capture boosters and they i think they've gone out there and used like hours and hours and hours it's your fault it's my fault that's right that's right (laughs) all right Rob, we're gonna move on because this is the long of the tooth now the munzee tip of the week and it's all about cappy and my tip of the week is just try it yeah just do it do exactly. Give it not a PJ your pants and start complaining <laughs> without trying it out. PJ, please, man, give me a ch- give me a chance. I promise you yeah. that this is the kind of thing that new players, veteran players, mm-hmm. everyone will have the opportunity to actually enjoy this if they give it a try. Yeah. Tap on Cappy on the map once you're doing the daily mm-hmm. stroll. Tap that star. You'll be surprised at what happens inside the camp hub. There's a little tutorial. Tap around on all the buttons. There's five of them, if I remember correct. So mm-hmm. please give it a try. Love you, PJ. Yeah, exactly right. And as always, guys, remember Munzee evolve. So things happen for a reason. Like with the you know the, the reappearing greenies, yeah. 
that, that was for a reason. We didn't know the reason yeah. until now, but uh, that was for a reason. So give it a try, give it a go, watch the video. Um, and I, I, I don't say that for any other reason, but because I'm it's my ugly mug. Yeah. But, um, yeah, no, in, enjoy it. Learn what you can about this game. So that's the Munzee tip of the week. So, Rob, this ends another official Munzee podcast. Thanks for joining us on this Munzee adventure. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, and review on your favorite podcasting app. And, of course, join us next week for another very informative episode. And remember, Munzee is more than a game. It's a worldwide community of mobile game players. So keep scanning, keep discovering, and keep that Munzee spirit alive, Rob. One, two, three, Cappy on! Munzee, oh yeah, Cappy yeah. on. You like, I like it. You like Daily it? Stroll by PJ.